All right, you guys, welcome back to another freaking amazing video. And as you guys may or may not be able to tell, I'm at Porsche of Monterey, and I'm here for a very specific reason. These guys have gotten some really interesting trade-ins recently, such as this beautiful R8, but we're gonna check them out today. All right, here we go. Starting off with the beautiful Audi R8 today. I think this is an 09 model, so it has a V8, but check this out. It's got a manual transmission in it, if you can see through that sun glare. Yeah, there you go yeah and this spec on it with the blue and that interior i love it i mean if i had the money you know like i would buy it but i'm like i'm kind of broke and then next sitting kind of close to the r8 we have this rolls royce this og rolls royce and this thing didn't want to start when they tried to start it to move it into the bay and also as you can see right here the spirit of ecstasy isn't quite working if i want to reach in there kind of like you know take it you know i, I would but i'm like it's, it's like i don't want to go to jail now, some of my JDM people really like this one. We have an OG first gen Acura NSX in this amazing blue color with these amazing wheels on it as well. Check this out. Very nice, very nice. Check this out, we have an interesting lineup right here. So we have a C63S next to an S63 AMG. Then as you move over here, you have this beautiful Rolls Royce Wraith with this silver and red interior. Very nice on that, I like that a lot. But then if I move over to this one, we have a beautifully wrapped Porsche GT3 RS 991.2 and another wrapped Cayman GT4. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering exactly what I'm wondering right now. And it's what's going on with this wrap? I personally, I have no clue, right? But like, I just know I love this thing. And if I was going to buy a 3 RS, like I say it every time, but it would be this one because under this is lizard green and it's the white side package. Like, I've never seen a better RS. All right, so like chances are I'm probably going to get told no, but I'm going to do my best and see if they'll start the car up for me, but you never know till you ask. All right, so off camera, I asked them, and they said yes. See, boys, I told you, if I wouldn't have asked, they wouldn't have said yes, we wouldn't have got started up, but now we get to hear this thing. Woo, that titanium exhaust is working, baby. All right, so I, like a lot of people, just found out this is a stock exhaust. This thing is stock with titanium. How sick is that? If this thing had an aftermarket exhaust, think about how good it would sound. And it already sounds amazing for stock. One last car before we head out. They have this beautiful E63S wagon they just got in as well. And they have a Karim Red? Kareem Red. I don't know exactly how it's said. But anyways, it's a 991.2 GT3 that they had here yesterday, but it's not here now. I'll put, I'll put up a picture right here of it, but they just got that in a tr as a trade as well. So these guys right now are freaking stacked. Oh, look at that. China Blue G-Wagon G550. Nice. Bro, look at the plate on the Tesla. LOL Cool. Oh, my God. All right. It's a beautiful freaking Wednesday today, and we have an automatic, not a gated, but nonetheless, an Audi R8 V10. There hasn't been very many cars out lately, so I'm super psyched to be able to record this R8 right here. I personally wouldn't get it in black, and if I got the V10, I would have to get a gated manual for this year of the R8. But nonetheless, still, still an R8. Oh, check this out. This isn't actually a black R8. It's a purple R8. You can see in the sunlight, you can see the purple sparkle in that. That's pretty cool. Whoa, as I run across the road, check out the 488, dude. That's nice. Silver wheels on silver paint on Texas plates. Woo! Nice, those turbos sound good. Woo, a chalk Tycon baby. Now that's a car I want, but I can't afford because, well, I mean, I I'm still broke. Check this out, you guys. So this Bentayga is kind of, you can see it's kind of like a light, light tan, but as you walk around the car and the sunlight hits it just enough, you can tell it kind of goes into this tan slash blue slash silvery pearlescent paint that's sick whoa there look at the 2021 rolls royce ghost with this beautiful blue slash purple exterior and white and orange interior interesting spec oh check out the little doggy in the blue dawn with the blue top literally the plate is blue dawn hey dang these, these guys are kind of drunk huh my dude's about to fall over Oh, whatever you do, bro, just like don't hit the car. Yeah, <laughs> let's go follow them. Oh, oh, oh. And get him up. There you go. Ah. 
Hey, what did that guy do? He just started praying to the air, put his hand up, and started praying to the air. Let's <laughs> was good pull of them. Bro, they're gonna get kicked out of that restaurant. My dudes are barely going to eat, and that that guy's gone into another dimension. <laughs> oh, Nathan, we got the pimped out freaking toaster right here on the red wheels. Kind of like niche on the red niches. Nice. We got a trend going on here. We got the red BBSs on the OG Porsche 911. Yo, check out the Courage on the Le Mans Edition Bentley, bro. Oh my, that hurts, bro. That hurts my feelings on the Le Mans Edition. No way. He said what? A bit on this tire too. Oh, on the wheel. Wow, no man, look, he curb rushed it right there. This man needs to get his license revoked. <laughs> revoked <laughs> now. Bro, even on the left side of the car, man. Holy, oh, hey, let's check the back tire, uh -huh. the back wheel. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Uh, no, nah, just a tiny bit, but not too much. I think this one's Bro, clear. Actually, yeah. Where? Oh, yeah, there you go, a little bit more. Oh, wow, man. This man needs, this this man needs to get his license revoked or suspended. That's sad. Dude, check out the white Urus. This is Reed's Urus. Nathan, what do you think of it? Oh, it's nice. It's nice? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Nice. You, like, you like it? Yeah. You like it a lot? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Urus? Come on, can we get a little something? Yeah! Oh, 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 GT3. Yes! Wow, look at that interior on this G-Wagon. Dude, that is beautiful. It complements this dark green exterior perfectly. Oh, all right, no, I will, I'll get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Check this out, you guys. Now, this is a cool deal. We have the 430 Scuderia it's Nasty 16M, and then we have the Lamborghini Urus right in front of it in white. Uh, look at the people recording it. <laughs> we got the C8 in the back, matching the Ferrari. <laughs> it is not every day you see a 16M partnered up with a Lamborghini Urus. Two very different cars, but two very unique cars. Oh, Maybach. Okay, now we're talking, now we're talking. A little white C8 Corvette, okay, taking the looks, copying the Ferraris, as everybody knows. So for those who actually don't know, the 16M Scuderia Ferrari is the F430, but on steroids. So it's the lightweight, hardcore, more carbon fiber, more raw, louder exhaust from factory version that's street legal. And then, well, the Lamborghini Urus is just Lamborghini's SUV that's extremely freaking fast for no reason. Guys, I don't even pay for gas. Like, I'm too broke regardless if it was at a dollar or six dollars. But, dude, that's that, that, that's outrageous, man. Like, what? 625, 605, and 585. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? It's an extremely loud Maserati for no reason. Uh, and the GT3. Nathan, how you doing? Hi. Hi. It sounds pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, look at this. Dark blue or purple Urus? Ho, ho, ho. Nice spec, baby. Black wheels, yellow calipers, brown interior with the in and out cup. I don't know how I feel about the brown, but very nice exterior. Dude, check out the girl in the Mustang. Knock the hell out in the passenger seat. <laughs> oh, there goes the Maserati. Aw, oh, come on, man. We got the knockoff Porsche Boxer, the Toyota Celica, a GT43, and then the Maybach S560 with the big old front engine, a V12, baby. Oh, that's it, it has a fat wing. Oh, damn, and the plaid. Check out the little dog chilling in the Lamborghini Urus. 
Damn, bro, that, that's a dream right there. He, he fell asleep in the yours with the red interior. It's it's a little dirty. It's a little dirty. Could use a wash. A little. A little. Eh, it's okay. Oh, I just ran a marathon. So I cash the DB11 Volante. Yo, sorry about that angle, but whew, that thing's clean. Dude, look at this thing. Normally, I don't like the brown interiors on cars or supercars, to be honest. But I think with the great exterior and these silver wheels, it contrasts it really, really freaking well, man. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm a fanboy over Aston Martins. Although they might not be at the level of a Huracan or a GT3 from Porsche, they're still cool cars and they look very exotic and nice. I don't usually record luxury cars, but the interiors I've been seeing lately on these ones have been spectacular. This cream just kind of white interior on this Bentayga with the blue exterior. This thing contrasts it so freaking well. And a lot of people don't like the taillights on the new Bentleys. I personally really love them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A second DB11. Dude, that one was sick. That one was a dark blue. No, wait, is it turning? Oh, no. I'll get him another time. Well, 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 if it isn't the dark blue DB11 that got away from me from the last clip, look at this thing. Ironically, same type of wheels, brown interior as well, but nonetheless, still a cool spec.